Let's look at how you can add a matching item type to a Canvas new quiz. So in a matching item type, students are required to match answers from a drop down menu with a list of questions. So right now I'm currently in a Canvas new quiz. The only thing that I've done so far is titled my new quiz. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the blue plus sign to add a matching question. And then I'm going to skip down to where it says add question stem. And this is where you can type any sort of instructions for this question, or if you have an actual longer question that you would like to incorporate, then you can type that there. So I'm just going to say, choose the sentence that matches the figurative language vocabulary word. Okay, so if I come over to my question, notice that I see the question is tied to the answer box. So I'm going to put the question in the box on the left and the correct answer on the box on the right. So let's just say that my first question, I want the students to um, identify a simile and to match a simile. So then for my answer, we're going to say her smile was like a ray of sunshine. And then for the second one, let's say we'll do a metaphor. And we'll say that the correct answer is the classroom was a beehive of activity. And then we'll do one more. We'll do personification. And we will say the old house groaned under the weight of the snow. So if you would like to delete any question and answer pairs, then you can do that using the trash can. If you need to add additional question and answer pairs, then you can do that using the plus button here, and it will give you additional question and answer boxes. Um, a feature that I really like about the matching question is you do have the option to add distractors. So if I add a distractor, I'm gonna say here's a distractor, and what that will do is it will throw it into the list of possible answers. And we'll see that here in preview mode here in just a second. Um, as far as options go for a Canvas new quiz matching item type, you do have the option to show on screen calculator and you can shuffle the questions. And then as far as grading goes, you can award partial credit or you can make it so where students have to have all of the correct answers to receive any credit. That's called exact match. If you would like to adjust the point value uh, for this particular question, you would do that right here. And then on the feedback button, this is where you have the option to give student feedback for a correct answer, for an incorrect answer, or to provide them just general feedback regardless of any answer. Once you have all of those um, items set up, you'll click the Done button. And then you can see what it looks like here in teacher mode. If you would like to see what it looks like for a student, you can go to the preview option and your quiz does not have to be published for you to be able to use the preview option. So that's super nice. And then you can see simile and you can interact with that just like the students would do. Notice how the distractor is now within the answer choices.